Okay, fourth grade. Time for painting techniques. Okay, so on the back of your paper, you're going to draw a grid that has eight sections. Um, in the top first section, you're going to write fourth grade, and you're going to write your name. So from left to right and then going down, we have brush strokes, dry brush, sponging, overpainting with details, dabbing, stippling, scraffito, and scumbling. So when you get your paintbrush, um, just a reminder, this is the ferrule of your paintbrush. These are your bristles, and this is your handle. You want to keep your hand back here. Um, so when you get your paint your paintbrush, the first thing you're going to do is paint either like a circle or something in overpaint and paint it in scraffito. The reason why is that both of these need the most time to dry because you have to do a technique on top. So these two are always going to be having something underneath and then another thing on top. Okay, so brush strokes. Something I want to show you. This brush can do many things. Watch. Put it down, wiggle it, that's how thick it can be. Just putting it down, it can be that size, using the side, pressing down a little bit, and then the thinnest I can go by just tickling my paper. This paintbrush, this paintbrush, you can do all of those things, you don't need a tiny brush. Then dry brush is a texture normally done on top of things, it's when you're not getting extra paint, and you're using pretty much what's left on your paintbrush, awesome for textures. Sponging, sponging is when you take these sponges, I need to get some water out of it. Uh, if someone else would, was using it before you, dab it off on a paper towel or rinse it out or squeeze it out like this in your water bucket. That's what that sound is. Okay. Um, so what you're going to do is you're never going to stick this directly into the paint. You're going to use a paintbrush and you're going to paint it on. This is because sometimes uh, it's a sponge and it's going to absorb all that paint and that's not what you want. So paint it on, put your paintbrush in your water cup. Okay, so when you start sponging, press down lightly, see how heavy you put on a or you applied your paint, and then keep going. This is an awesome technique for clouds and things like that. When you're done with it, wash it out like anything else in your water bucket. Make sure it doesn't have any more paint on it. Squeeze it out for the next person so that they can use it. Okay. Dabbing. Dabbing is either when you're removing or adding paint using a paper towel. So you're going to take a paper towel, you're going to wad it up if you are adding, and you're painting directly on it. Okay. Paintbrush standing up, not on the table. Flipping it over. And this is also awesome for adding texture to stuff. This and sponging go after you have painted, outlined, and filled in everything else. So, after you're done with this, make sure it gets in the trash can, not on the table. Stippling. Stippling is when you're just using the point of your paintbrush to do little dots. So, stippling. These are also, again, textural things. Texture is what something feel like. Alright, I'm going to come back to Scraffito. And then scumbling. Scumbling is when you're going in circles. And this adds awesome texture. You're kind of going in circles and overlapping. When you do scumbling, uh, you should do it with another color underneath also. Okay, so for washing out your paintbrushes, this is your water bucket. Okay, there are these sides that hold paintbrushes. There are these sides that hold paintbrushes just like this. And there's this side down here that has a little ridgy thing. You hear it down there? Okay, so you need to rub your paintbrush against that. I'm rubbing the ferrule of it, and it actually vibrates, and it vibrates all the paint out of your paintbrush. So you wipe it on the edge inside, not on the outside, otherwise it'll drip down onto your table. Wipe off as much as you can, put the water cup back, always hold it while you're using it, and dry off the paintbrush. Okay, you should not be soaking your entire paper drying off your paintbrush. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to overpainting. I'm going to use a different color for this. Overpainting is doing details. So if I wanted to directly paint on top of this and do some stippling details, it's pretty much any type of details that you're doing. Um, and then Scraffito. Scraffito is when you paint something on top of something else and then you use the end of your paintbrush to remove it. 
So that's Graffito. And these things are also all random awesome textures. Okay, so again, those are our basic painting techniques. One thing I want to remind you is that you always need to go from the background of your paper to the foreground, so working what's behind you and then working forward. Details and textures should always be after you have outlined and filled in something. So remember, you outline it in the color, and then you fill it in. Okay. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Always remember to wash out your paintbrushes.